couple of weeks ago, Pastor Kevin was preaching on our prosperity and giving. And while I was listening to his sermon, I kept getting flashbacks from a couple of years ago when I was looking to buy a car, but I didn't really know how to go about that. So I had written out my budget and I brought it to the Lord and just surrendered to him. And I felt prompted by the Lord to give exceedingly more outside of my tithe, which I was reluctant to receive because I was a little backwards from where I was sitting. But it was definitely the Lord. And after meditating on it, um, realizing that his ways are not my ways, his thoughts are higher than my thoughts. And so I submitted and said, okay. Some time went by and the security team that I was serving with here called me into their offices, which made me nervous because back in the day when I get called into the office, it was for something bad. But luckily that wasn't the case here. They called me into the office and they looked at me and they said, this team is a family and we take care of our family and they proceeded to tell me that the team funded together as a family and actually raised the funds for me to buy a car that I now drive. In the midst of all this, I came across a scripture verse by Luke 6:38. Give to others and God will give to you. Indeed, you will receive a full measure, a generous helping poured into your hands, all that you can hold. The measure you use for others is the one that God will use for you. It was in this moment that I realized that the promise of a bountiful harvest was set in the context of my faithful giving to God's work. In order to see a fruitful harvest, you'll need to sit out of your comfort zone, surrender it to God, lean not on your own understanding, but put your whole trust in God and just watch Him work.